Now I have a student account and it is right here. And whenever a new assignment is posted, I get, uh, I get an announcement in my student account. So here's my fake class assignments. And there's the one I just put up, read and comment immediately. So now I'm the student. So this is the student view. I'm going to go in here. And here is where some interesting uh, navigational decisions were made by Microsoft. I don't really understand these. Your initial thought is I'm just going to click this. If you want the student to do more than read, so like the student could read this and then they could upload uh, a commentary or something from another document. But if you actually want them to engage within this document, what they need to do is go to the three dots and hit open in Word online. So Word, Excel, PowerPoint, any of the Office documents, they can just open online. They can open it in their software, but if you do that, and their software isn't updated or um, they haven't logged in with their school account to their software in ages, they can get a delay. Opening in Teams seems to be only read only. So they can read it but not edit it. Obviously they can download it, work on it, and then re-upload it. But I want it all to like flow together. So I'm just gonna sit open Word online. I'm just gonna select that. And here it is. And then once they do this, they get their own copy and they can edit it. And I'm just going to type something pointless. Okay, it's automatically saved. I'm going to close it. Okay, once they're done editing, they need to hit turn in and then they get a little icon once it's done. I'm going to refresh this. Completed. Read and comment immediately is what it was called. And there's the feedback and there's the score. So again, the student would go to assignments, they would go to completed, find the assignment, and then they open it, they should see the feedback and the score.